Brigitte is a hero that can completely carry a game based on how good you are with her kit. Brig is not as easy as you think, and in this video, I'm going through one of Brig's hardest comps to run against, Double Bubble. If some of you are confused what Double Bubble means, it's a tank lineup of Winston and Zarya. Monkey has his bubble barrier, and Zarya has her bubbles that she can attach to teammates. Double Bubble. The main reason why it is so hard to play Brig in this comp is because of those bubbles. It is so easy for you to get overwhelmed as Brig from a monkey jumping on you who just got bubbled by their Zarya and bubbles himself. However, once you get in the right mindset and listen to these tips, you can be much more successful running into this comp as a Brigitte. In my ultimate guide to Brigitte, I said that there are two ways to play Brig. You can either walk with your tank or your other support. Well, in Double Bubble, you should only be walking with your other support 90% of the time and not with tanks. Let's go through where to stand for each support. Remember that Brig is a defensive hero and you should be playing around corners and hardcover instead of growing aggressive on anything. If your other support is Ana, Zen, Bap, or even Moira, you should you. probably chill with them. The reason you want to do this is you'll be taking extra damage and you want to shut down this monkey. Your other supports can help you out as you play patiently against the Winston. I'll explain what this means in a second. If your support is Mercy or Lucio, you probably won't be able to walk with them, but you should be playing where those Ana, Zen, or Bat players would be so that when you get dove or someone else gets dove, you can help them out. Okay, let's get into the nitty gritty of what makes Double Bubbles so rough for a Brig player. The Bubbles. With the seemingly infinite amount of bubbles that is in your way as Brig, it seems impossible to get Inspire and stun anyone. This is where massive patience comes in. The whole point of you playing Brig into Double Bubble is to shut down their Winston. You should be watching him as much as possible to see when and where he is. Winston will want to chill out for a second, then jump in onto your other support or someone else. You should be eyeing him down ready for his leap so you can whip shot him. Oftentimes, as he is leaping, Winston Zarya may bubble him, and so your whip shot does not go off. This is fine. Don't panic. Just play relaxed. As he is now Tesla-ing you and your other support, wait for Zarya's bubble to wear off, then wait for him to also bubble. Once Winston uses his own bubble barrier, you can go inside the bubble and finally stun him. This is all about patience because you have to wait out all these abilities in order for you to get any value because messing up a stun can lead to you dying. Another very important tip is once Winston uses his bubble barrier and we've quickly gone inside to ensure that you can get your stun off, you need to get outside of the bubble as fast as possible. Healers like Ana, Bap, Moira, and Lucio cannot heal through shields, but guess what? You can maze to the face through shields. So go inside for that stun, then immediately get out and play just outside the bubble so you can be pocketed by your Ana so you don't die. Oftentimes, double bubble is run with an Ana on the enemy team, and the person that gets the nano is Winston. This means the monkey diving onto you gets even more amplified and you have to be even more vigilant to the bubble usage from the enemy team. This can be huge if you keep an eye on Winston and be ready for when he jumps in with the nano. Whipping him away heavily stops the incoming damage and positioning that Winston wanted, and even more, stunning a nano Winston is absolutely necessary in order order to shut down the massive amounts of damage that Winston can do while nanoed. Remember, stun the nano monkey, then get out of the bubble so you can get healed. Using Rally defensively can also be good in double bubble if the enemy team nanos Winston or if they're just hard diving. You can easily help your other support with a pack, stun Winston, and give everyone armor to completely carry the fight and shut down their dive. Rallying offensively and taking space can also be very strong. It just is going to depend on the situation of when you have Rally and what the situation is with their ultimates. I like rallying engage into a fight to take Take space easily from a monkey and aggressively stun him if he's holding in a close position. Lots of people have asked me questions about how to use Briggs armor pack and it is a bit more simple than you may think as long as you are being aware of your pack placement. 
Never spam packs and really only heal people that need packs. If I see that my monkey is critical in the distance but with our Ana's line of sight, I may just throw one onto him for ult charge and save the others. Lots of times, I know lower ranked Briggs undercompensate for healing and throw way too many packs on someone for no reason. You often only need to throw one on squishy heroes, just don't spam them. If you're able to get one pack on someone and give them inspire healing, like for example to your Ana, that's 55 health per second on the pack and 15 healing from the inspire. That will easily outheal monkeys 60 damage per second and that will be long enough to kill or force Winston out. So overall for packs, just don't spam all three on one person. Throw them out as needed and throw one to two at a time mid fight. Let's do a bit of a VOD review. So you can see that I'm playing Brig up here in the top right and the enemy team is running monkey zarya which is the double bubble comp so i'm gonna go through some of my plays here and how i'm gonna keep our ana alive and what i'm going to do in order to make sure that we can actually win this game all right here's our first interaction with monkey here you can see he gets bubbled and he bubbles himself i mean it, it happened so fast let me slow it down for you so i'm starting to push here i'm with our ana i'm also with our tanks but here's our monkey he gets jumped he gets bubbled i don't go for any stuns i'm just whipping i wait for the bubble to go off and then i stun him Pretty simple like that. He also, in that specific example, he bubbled really late, so I wasn't worried about which bubble to stand in and how to stand, but I just knew I did not want to stun until that bubble went away. Let's look at it from like their monkey's perspective. So he jumps down and he gets bubbled. He's just tasering everybody. I'm just waiting for the bubble to go off. I bubble boys off, stun, whipped away. All right, so here's another example of the monkey diving and kind of getting a good example of this. So the monkey tries to jump up here. I try to whip him, but they actually bubble him, which is fine. I throw packs on both Widow and Ana. I wait for him to just go inside the bubble to stun him. Unfortunately, our Ana still dies. But, you know, I'm still keeping an eye on this monkey so I can completely shut him down. I whip his jump so that he can't go back onto our Widow. He primals, unfortunately, which is fine. He comes back up. I stun his primal, whip him. And then he gets Thanos. <laughs> All right, here's an example of me rallying. I have 95% rally charge right now, and I really take this aggressively because they're about to push the payload all the way. So I pack our monkey. I take the space with rally. Stun the monkey. Make sure I don't get that stun. And here I'm just playing defensively. I'm not with our Ana. I'm with our monkey on the cart. Once I realize my rally's ended, I kind of get out there and I play more defensively, but you know. That's what we kind of done with Rally there. I kind of went nice and aggressive there so that we could actually hold some space for a little bit. And we, we were pretty successful while we were rallying, but unfortunately it didn't work out that much that well. Yeah, see right here, I go inside the bubble to stun the monkey. We kind of just break the bubble nice and fast so I don't have to worry about getting not getting healed. All right, so here's another one. So they just used personal bubbles, so I put that in my mind. I'm looking around for their monkeys to cancel. I saw them use the bubble and I go, I went for the stun immediately because I knew that they already used the stun. Let's go back and look at that a bit slower. So I'm looking around for the monkey. I saw... that's not him. Here he comes. Here, there's the bubble. So I know they used it, so I immediately went for the stun and the whip combo so that we can save our Ana. And then they nettled him. Which is, here's another example of why it's so hard to play Brig into this. So I try to get whip him away, but he actually bubbles. And then I just get rolled because of it. The bubbles are so hard against Brig. So this is another example of what you should do in theory for Brig. This example isn't the greatest as I died, but it's the theory so sad. So I try to whip and I get bubbled. I'm waiting for the bubbles. I'm standing outside the bubble so I can get healed and I just got blown up. But you, you see that I stood outside the bubble there so that I could get healed if I was gonna be able to, but we just got rolled over because our monkey was dead there and he was coming back. It was a 5v6. Here's another example of what the monkey is gonna be trying to do. So the monkey's jumped up here. He's, he's getting his bubbled. I'm waiting for the bubble to end. Go for the stun, whip combo, and then I immediately get out of the bubble. Even though he dropped off, I still wanted to get outside this bubble and break it as fast as I could. If their monkey had stayed like this, look where, look at our Ana here. Our Ana is back here. If I'm inside this bubble here, our Ana's not gonna be able to hear me and I'm gonna die a lot faster. So honestly, I would be able to get healed here probably, but after I've stunned the monkey, I wanna come back outside the bubble so I can still whip shot the monkey through the bubble and our Ana can heal me, saving me the entire time. You see, our Ana can't heal me, so she's trying to help out. And then we both back out of the bubble and it makes it a lot easier. So definitely make sure we're going outside those bubbles when the monkey dies. And so as I'm going through this entire game, you know, I'm kind of 
I'm not really spamming my packs at all. Like, I'm always going to have one pack most of the time so that I can really keep my team alive. Obviously, sometimes, you know, I'm not going to have packs. But it's really cognizant. You need to be aware of how much you're using and never underestimate them. It does a lot of healing. And see, I throw two there. Like, I used the third one when I got it because no one else was going to need healing. But, you know, I, I never throw all three packs onto one person for no reason. If you have any questions, feel free to come by one of my Twitch streams at twitch.tv forward slash holyshiftkid. Thanks for watching.